A local daycare worker caught sleeping on the job. Check out this. A parent took this picture at the Little Angels Learning Center in Pflugerville. KXAN has confirmed that is one of the teachers sleeping in the classroom. So how could this happen? KXAN's Lindsay Bramson has the story. Sleep, little one, go to sleep. For the children at Little Angels Learning Center in Pflugerville, nap time is a daily occurrence, but only for the kids. So you can imagine how surprised a father was when he came to pick up his four-year-old son and found one of the daycare workers sleeping with several children around her. I yelled out, hey, and I, she didn't hear me, and I said again, hey. And the third time when I yelled, hey, and she finally woke up. With the help of his interpreter, Michael Keithley tells me he stopped by to check on his four-year-old son, Robert, when he saw the teacher with her head down on the desk. He'd only been in daycare five days. There are three and four-year-old kids in the classroom. They're just way too young to not have supervision. The director, Robin Ramos, says the teacher, who has 22 years experience, was on medication that caused her to become drowsy. She's on a three-day suspension until I de determine, me and the owner, what we should do. Um, so that this never happens again. We're all about safety. We love these kids. A spokesperson for the Department of Family and Protective Services says they're aware of the incident and investigating. As of now, the teacher is expected back the end of this week. Lindsay Bramson, KXAN News. The Department of Family and Protective Services says parents should always have the right to drop by a daycare unexpectedly. Little Angels watches children from four weeks to 11 years old. Going in depth, we checked through the state and Little Angels has been open since 2003. It is a licensed daycare. We found the center was cited three times last year, including an allegation a child was either threatened or placed in an unsafe situation. All of those citations were marked as corrected. Other than issues like safety and health violations, state inspectors check on daycares to make sure there are the right number of children per caregiver. The ratio depends on the ages of the children being watched. They also keep up with the background checks of employees to make sure there are no red flags and that those employees can work with children. And as Lindsay Bramson told you last night on KXAN News after the Olympics in her investigation into illegal daycares, there is a reason these rules are in place. In fact, we learned last year alone, the state found more than 400 illegal daycares operating in Texas. You can see that full report on KXAN.com.